Hey guys, sorry for a long time, no update. Um, I just, vlogging just kind of completely slipped my mind, I'll be honest. You know, I'm not really a, a daily vlogger anymore, and there's been so much other stuff going on that I kind of just forgot. But I want to give you guys an update because I know my last one was not very helpful. And this one is a lot better. So today is day nine, technically, but eight, kind of. Came in last Saturday, so Saturday is Saturday is technically eight, but they counted as seven, so anyway eight or nine um and there's some things here that are going on that are driving me insane uh in regards to this one doctor that's wanting to keep me so much longer than i need to be here but uh we're gonna figure that out tomorrow um and not go on a rampage about it because that's what i was doing pretty much all day friday and saturday so we don't want to do that today we want to relax today <laughs> um but yeah so i'm doing a lot better um i so just like from then and now, like when I came in, I was getting out of breath, just walking to the bathroom. Um, I was, my heart rate was going to like 130 at rest, um, just because I would sit up. Um, my, I was constantly feeling air hungry, which was weird because my O2 was never like low, low, the lowest it ever went was like 94. But I was constantly feeling air hungry, which is just like a panic inducing feeling. Um, and tired all the time. I didn't want to eat and just pretty much didn't want to do anything but rest. So that was when I came in last Saturday and that persisted for a couple of days. Um, my appetite came back first and then the rest kind of followed. So yesterday and this morning, to put it into perspective, um, my heart rate is back to 74 to 90 at rest, which is my normal. My oxygen is back to 98 to 100%, which is my normal, which is so, amazing to say even now um that's 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 all trick after right there that's four years of trick after doing that right there um and i'm not getting air hung i haven't felt air hungry in days um i walked an entire lap of the floor yesterday plus showered plus played games with my dad and i only started getting tired around like a couple hours after that um i Physically, like conditioning wise, I may be a little bit weaker because just walking the floor, which was the first day they let me do that. I never walked in, so I paused the video. Um, so, like conditioning wise, like, you know, I was riding horses and um, stuff like that. So, I was definitely stronger than I am now physically, like condi just conditioning wise, but like lung wise, I'm better than I was even when I went to road on July 3rd because. I was getting so out of breath, um, dealing with the horse because he was being stubborn, and um, that's not happening anymore. So that is just fantastic. Um, if you if you know, I've said it before, but if you don't know, if you're new here, hi. Um, but um, I I have cystic fibrosis and I have reactive hypoglycemia, and after I had COVID in August of 2022, I avoided it for two years, and then it finally got me. <laughs> Um, I just started getting so much more sick, like so much more often. I actually got diagnosed with long COVID, which I feel like the effects of that are starting to wear off because from 2022 till the very beginning of this year, or even, I guess kind of more like the end of last year, if you want, um, I was out of, in and out of the hospital all the time. I was in the hospital for 2023. Well, I went in a month after COVID. So I was in September. Then I was in, in December, then I was in, in January, then I was in, in March, and then June, July, September. Um, and then like late, that ran into um, October, I believe. Or it might've been October too. Um, you know, I think it was actually, I think it was October too. So I was in and out like, all of 2020 end of 2022 and most of 2023 until the end so i had that admission in october i'm not quite sure of the timeline on if that was the same one as september but i don't think it was i think they were separate because it was the end of october and that was the beginning of september um so i had those and then i had this break between the end of october and the beginning of february um which was basically november december january because it was like the end and the beginning so I had three months out of the hospital and I was like, this is fantastic. 
And then I ended up sick again in February, not as bad as this time, which is kind of crazy when you talk, when I'm about to talk about what happens next, but um, it was actually a pretty mild, mild stay in February. Um, and then I had six months from February until July, I was healthy. Now, the first week of July, I could tell I was getting sick, but I wanted to get through my horse lesson. I wanted to get through the holiday, you know, you got to take care of it, but there is some points where it's like, okay, see, if you can wait a couple days, just shove it for a couple days. Um, so, but from February to July, I was healthy. So it felt like, it feels like that long COVID is kind of letting go of me. Every time I think it's finally lost its hold on me, it's like, hey, I'm still here. Um, but anyway, so that was a, that was a ramble. It's eight o'clock in the morning, but, um, I'm doing much better that's the, that's the gist of it um and hoping that i can get the one doctor that is ignoring everybody else to let me go out of here on tuesday um i'm at the point where i feel like i'd recover better at home like yes some things are easier here just because you know i don't have to think as much about my health like as far as like pills and taking care of blood sugar and all that because they kind of help me with it but i'm just ready to go back home <laughs> i just want to go home so, um, yeah, that is, so, sorry to leave you hanging on kind of like the not great note, but things are a lot better. Um, I'm going to have some insure with my meds and have some coffee and kind of, I was thinking about sleeping more, but honestly, I'm kind of awake because I got so much sleep last night. Uh, so much sleep, but you know, that's a lot of sleep for a hospital. So, um, yeah, just going to chill out and, uh, yeah, I'm just letting you guys know that things are, things are much improved.